The city of Grand Forks, North Dakota, was really happy when the potential for a new corn mill came to town. Well, that was until the citizens there learned about who the company was associated with. They've told us repeatedly that Air Force officials at the base have raised no concerns. They've told us that they have properly vetted the Fufang Corporation and they see no problem with it, which just it simply isn't true. They did a Google search. That was their vetting process <laughs> oh uh, of, of the company. Well, back in July, The Angle first brought you the story out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, of a Chinese company, as you just heard, named Fufang. It's attempting to build a corn mill just miles from an American Air Force base. Well, just yesterday, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States concluded its review, saying, well, they don't have jurisdiction to block this. Now, let me put this very bluntly. The committee that Congress mandated and gave the authority to protect America's national security is allowing a Chinese business with ties to Beijing, that means the CCP, to operate mere miles from an American military installation. Where's General Austin? How about Milley? Why are we spending so much money on national defense when obviously no one in Washington intends to defend this country here on our own land at all? Here now is Gordon Chang, Gatestone Institute senior fellow, who's been tracking China's land purchases here in the United States for years. Gordon, uh, why we would allow China to buy up key agricultural tracts in the United States, let alone land near an Air Force base, I think people are just scratching their heads tonight. Well, they got to. We've got to remember that this company is Chinese. And that means in the Communist Party's top-down system, it cannot refuse a demand to spy. Also, the Chinese 2017 National Intelligence Law, Article 7 and 14, require every Chinese company to spy if they receive a demand to do so. So this is a company under a compulsion to commit espionage. This, this piece of land is within 12 miles of Grand Forks Air Force Base. They've got sensitive satellite uplinks there. This, by its very nature, is a danger to American security. And whether now, you Google it or not, the Air Force should have known that. Now, the mayor of Grand Forks had an interesting reaction, Gordon, to the news yesterday. Watch this. Initially, I was surprised because they had 45 more days. Um, we expected they were going to take that full amount of time. So um, they had a 45-day extension they could have granted and, and asked for more information uh, from the two parties that were involved. Gordon, uh, they didn't take the extension that they could have used to thoroughly look at this. Uh, it seemed like it's rushed through. Is someone just trying to placate, please, bend over backwards for the CCP in the United States at this point? Is that what we can conclude? You know, that's the only explanation that I can come up with. You know, and by the way, even if the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. felt it didn't have jurisdiction, the president of the United States using his powers under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act of 1977 could prevent this land purchase. So there's a lot that can be done. We still need to keep the pressure up. But, you know, you're absolutely right. We have a White House. We have a Pentagon that seems determined not to defend the United States. Well, Gordon, how many American companies are being allowed to buy tracts of land in China near Chinese or anywhere, let alone near Chinese military installations. Do you have a list of those? Zero. Zero, Laura. You know, this is just, again, it's an issue of reciprocity. And this is not the only case that we have. We have a Chinese, a former Chinese officer actually bought a lot of acreage near Laughlin Air Force Base in southern Texas. And there's another case of this as well. So this is seen to be symptomatic, which means that the Communist Party is using these purchases to spy on the U.S. I mean, how dumb can we be? And, Gordon, yesterday, almost 200 Chinese companies avoided being delisted from the U.S. Stock Exchange after our accounting watchdog board claimed that they'd have full access in, you know, audit inspections later on. Here's the chair of that board defending this decision. Investors are better protected today because the PCAOB was able to send in our inspectors and investigators and really look at the books of the audit firms in China and find out where there are problems. And now we're able to hold those firms accountable to fix those problems. Gordon, is there any indication 
that due diligence is even possible when you're talking about the CCP, their tactics and their strategies against the United States? No. And what's even worse is that we sent our auditors to Hong Kong where we reviewed those books. We didn't send them into the mainland. We didn't send them to the companies themselves. So I don't see how we can say that we got due diligence or we can hold them to account. This just was this was fundamentally wrong in terms of the agreement in the first place, and the execution is worse. Gordon, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.